Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a de-stash video. This box in front of me has several, several polishes that I am in the process of getting rid of. Another one from LA Colors. This is like a olivey green. This is called Deep Sage. Worn this once. Okay, don't reach for it. Again, I do not like the brushes on these polishes, so definitely getting rid of that one. Another OPI polish. I got this from TJ Maxx. This is Ring Bearer, and it is a very, very sheer polish. This is like a four to five coater and is still really sheer, so I decided instead of hanging on to it trying to see if I could mix something in it or what I can do to make it work, I'm just going to pass it on. I have this polish from Sinful Colors. This is in Bite, and it is a really fun color, especially for like Halloween, but it's textured. I don't generally do textured polishes. I just don't like them, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the bin. A little couple minis that I have. I think this is uh, Strawberry Margarita. Um, this one's probably going to go in the garbage, to be honest, because the formula was terrible on this. The formula just was awful with this polish. Absolutely horrendous. Tried it once. Do not plan to try it again, so I'm going to get rid of that. Another eye glow, just a bright pink. Never wore it. I'll just pull from the first polish. We have this one from LA Colors Color Last. This is in Honor. Don't like the brushes on this particular polish and really just don't reach for it. I don't know if I've even actually worn this one, but I have other colors that are similar to this that I like better, so I'm getting rid of that one. This is one I just talked about in a video. This is Believe Beauty um, Jet Setter Polish. This is in... it's a match. I have an Essie one that is almost identical to this, and I prefer Essie to this brand, so this one is going to go couple color clubs. I just didn't like the color or the formula. There is this one in Olive Paris. Nothing wrong with it. It just formula wise for me wasn't great. Um, and I don't reach for colors like this that are this avocado -y green. So I'm going to give that to somebody. Another color club here. I think this was from the same set is this shimmery orange. And I just have not reached for it. This is in Don't Steal My Thunder. Just don't reach for colors like this. I don't care for peachy colors, honestly. So I figured if you're not going to wear it, um, give it to somebody else that may actually use it. I have a couple little polishes from iGlow. Don't reach for these anymore either. Um, they work well. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't wear these. Another Color Last polish. This is in Gravity. I've talked about this one before. I like it. I just don't like the brush. I have a brush I could probably use for this, but I have some colors that are similar enough to this from like China Glaze that I feel like I'll keep that over this one. Got several OPIs here. I have a couple here from the prisms collection or something we have this one which is pigment of my imagination and i have this one in gleam on don't like the formulas they're very sheer the formulas are awful i got these at tj maxx don't know why i picked them up even as toppers i didn't care for them so each of these are going to be going i had another one here in that collection that is radiance Another color club. I'm getting rid of this just because I don't care for the color. Um, this is called hashtag sponsored and it's, a, you know, putting it up against my skin tone. I just don't care for colors like that. It just isn't one of my go-tos, so I'm going to pass that one along. I have one here from C&D Dreamcatcher. And I got this more at once, I think, and just don't reach for it. There is another one from iGlow. 
We have Rim Polish here by LBK, and this is an extremely jelly polish. Not very opaque at all. I have actually never done more than swatch it. I know you can use these for like jelly sandwiches and everything, but just don't plan to do that. I got it on clearance, so I'm going to just give it to somebody that may actually enjoy it. Another Believe Beauty polish. This is the Jelly Glaze line. This is their color Clock Strikes 12. It's pretty in the bottle, but when I went to put it on after I bought this last year, it's disappointing. Formula was pretty bad, um, at least for me, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's not thick or old or anything like that, so I'm going to just give it to somebody that will hopefully be able to use it. Just didn't care for it for my personal use. Um, I have a glitter from Orly. I have one similar f from... KL Polish, I think, that I like better than this specific one. This is in Halo. It is a very glitter-packed polish. And like I said, I have one from KL Polish that you can't get that I plan to use. Um, this kind of glitter is just not my thing. I don't generally wear polishes like this. I have a polish here from... Sally Hansen, this is the Mega Strength line. Bought it thinking it was going to be pretty. It was extremely sheer. This is in Be Iconic. It's a really sheer polish. Um, I'm honestly going to put this in the garbage. I'm not going to give it to somebody when the formula is pretty crummy on it. So, bought it thinking it was going to work and it did not work for me. Another color club. The only reason I'm getting rid of this is because I have a dupe of it. I bought those seven piece sets you can see at TJ Maxx. Uh, I bought two of those and I got the same color in each of them. This one is Can You Dig It? Gorgeous mauve shade, but don't need two, so that one is going to go. An Essie Expressy. I have this in here because I accidentally got two, ordered two of them and don't need two. This is called um, Throw It On. It's a really pretty like pale lilac polish. Just because I have two, I figured I'm going to give it to somebody that's going to enjoy it. One from New Color. I've talked about this before. This is number 963. Don't like the formula of this at all. It was pretty bad, honestly. So I got one of these at uh, Dollar Tree a while back. This is part of the Sour Patch line. This is called Full Moon. And it wasn't what I thought. It is an extremely sheer jelly polish, but it also has white speckles in it. It The idea was nice, but this took like four coats on my swatch and I tried it on my nails and said forget it. The formula of this was terrible. A couple Insta-Dry polishes I just don't wear. These are the Sally Hansen Insta-Dry. We have this gold one in Go For Gold and then I have a matte polish in Molten Mauve with the formulas being a little bit on the thicker side with some of these. I just don't wear them. I didn't really care for the colors for either one of these. I have a couple glitter polishes here. This is in Sparkling Diamonds. I've talked about this before. These used to be favorites of mine. I have the gold one in here as well. But they are more chunky glitter than what I prefer. I don't really like these honestly they're too chunky for my liking i am going to just pass these on there's another one from color club this is in neutral and it is just another odd color to where it's not my kind of color so i'm passing that one on as well another new color polish this one was pretty it is a deep berry shade with shimmer in it I just don't reach for it though. I have other colors that are similar and with a little bit of a glitter top coat or something you could pretty much mimic the same thing. So I'm just going to get rid of that one. Another Insta Dry. Didn't care for the formula on this one either. This is the matte line. This is Burnished Wine. Got it marked down. It's a pretty color. I just don't like having to work to build up my polish. So that's kind of why I'm getting rid of that one. Then I have a Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. Accidentally bought two of these, which is why I'm getting rid of this one. This is in uh, Lock and Glory. And this is part of the Cruella line. I found this. One of these actually was at Dollar Tree. The other one was at Rite Aid. And didn't realize I already had it. So I'm going to get rid of that one. 
couple more of those OPI polishes from that Prisms collection. We have this purple here, which is Rainbow A Go Go, and then there is this lighter pink polish called She's a Prismaniac. Getting rid of them just because I know I don't like them by themselves, don't like them as toppers. I have this polish from Cuccio in here. I don't know if you can see it here on camera. It's got black specks in the polish. If you can see it, it might be picking it up here. There you can definitely see the black specks. Those, no matter how much you shake this bottle, they still are there when you use this polish. And the formula on it was terrible. So this one, for reference, is Dancing in the Dark. Do not like this one at all. Another mini from OPI. I think this is Bubble Bath. And this isn't my kind of color. I want somebody to use it that maybe will get use out of it versus it just sitting here. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Another Insta Dry Polish. This is Oh My Gray. I don't reach for this. I bought it on clearance. Um, it's a pretty gray and has some shimmer in it. But the Insta Dry Polishes, I just don't reach for them. Uh, I find that after they get used a few times... They get a little wonky formula-wise, and I just don't, don't reach for them. So I'm destashing quite a few of those. Another Color Club polish. This is Take It or Leaf It. It is another, like, nudie base. Um, I don't reach for stuff like this. I may end up keeping this one, though, because I did, like, an accent or, like, Skittle or for understamping or something. I don't have anything like that to where it's that beigey, um, off-white shade, so I may end up keeping that polish. A couple China Glaze. This one was disappointing. This is China Glaze Turned Up Turquoise. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, but it when I used it, it didn't dry down it on me, and it was not humid out or anything that day, and I thought, do I reserve it for pedicures? I may do that, but I have one from their summer collection, collection last year that's almost identical to this, minus the shimmer. So I think I'm going to just pass that one along as well. Another sassy and chic polish, 943, have not worn this. Didn't care for the color like I thought. Just didn't really like it. A China Glaze, this is an old one. I will be just completely getting rid of it. I won't give it to anybody. It's an old polish. It still works. It's just too opaque of a gold for my liking. And with the shimmer, it makes it a bear to take off. So this is in uh, Mingle with Kringle. I think we're going to cut this off here and I will do part two. This is going to...